Happy Holidays, Extremely Intelligent Lambs. Welcome back to the Movie Night Review. I'll be your host today, Peter Wary. Today's topic will be on holiday movies. Let's get started. The holidays are now here. Most of us will enjoy them by sitting down with a nice cup of hot cocoa or some other beverage like that and watch a Christmas movie. Today I'll be talking about my 10 favorite Christmas movies to watch during Christmas time. I will keep it to only movies that has to do with Christmas. So stuff like The Lord of the Rings will not be on this because even though in my family it's a tradition to watch The Lord of the Rings during Christmas time, it's not actually a Christmas movie. So I'm keeping it to only movies that has to do with actual Christmas. Again, please leave your comments below on movies you like watching during Christmas and enjoy the list. Number 10, White Christmas. White Christmas is a movie I've watched almost every single year. I'm putting on this list mainly because I've watched it a lot, but I don't particularly love it most. It's good, I like it, it's not it's not bad, it's just, I've watched it so many times, and I feel like the biggest thing about this that makes me annoyed is that this one gets compared to my first one all the time. Just like, I don't like having Star Wars and Lord of the Rings compared to each other, or I like, don't like having Frozen and Tangled compared to each other, just like with this one. I don't like having White Christmas and th this other movie compared to each other. For the, for the exact reason that all the movies I like from those series, the Lord of the Rings, Tangled, and this other movie, I feel like are 10 times better than, than Frozen and the and Star Wars and White Christmas that I hate hearing people try to compare them because I don't feel like it's worthy of being compared to these other movies. So that the biggest thing about this movie is, that I don't like is because it's just getting, getting compared to far greater movies. But overall, the story is good. The music is good. I like it. I like the movie. It's very much of its time and that's okay i mean it's a good movie it's a good christmas classic to watch every once in a while and if you like it sure you like it i don't mind it either i've watched every year with my family and it's it's good it's just not as great as people like to say so i strongly recommend if you like this movie keep liking it and if you haven't watched it yet you can feel free to watch it it's a good christmas classic number nine a Muppet Christmas. This is another movie I watch with my family all the time. I'm putting close to the bottom of the list because honestly, it's not as rememberable as most movies. So I'm putting closer to the bottom of my list because I can tell you somewhat about it. It had some good moments, and but honestly, I don't remember much about this movie. It's kind of just another movie I've watched. I don't watch it every year, but I've watched it a couple times with my family. It's good. I like it. I don't think. I don't remember anything I hated about it. The characters are nice, of course, because it's, it's the Muppets. But it's just not a movie that I will always go back to watch over and over again. So feel free to check it out if you like. It's a good Christmas movie. Number eight, Home Alone. This is a movie I've only seen once, but I like it. And I understand why it's a Christmas classic for most people because it's really funny. It's enjoyable to watch. It's, it kind of reminds me of what I would have been like as a kid. Not that I would have instead of booby traps like that. But I will say that kind of like how he acted when he was home alone. Oh, I'm home alone. I can eat all the ice cream I want. I can do all the stuff I want. It's something that I always wanted. And now that I live on my own and all, even now, I still like the idea of being home alone. Even that I am also a lot of times home alone and so this movie is really fun it's enjoyable to watch there's some great music in it the characters are not the best but I mean the story is good and I like it so I strongly recommend that you check it out number seven frosty the snowman this is a Christmas short that I would watch all the time when I was a kid so technically it's not a movie but some of these things on the list it's not gonna be full link hour and a half type movies so this is like I think 20 to 30 minutes long it's it's a fun watch i watch all the time when i was a kid it's good i like it a couple of these shorts that sh appears on this list is based off of a song a christmas song this is off of frosty the snowman and yeah this this movie is good i enjoy the movie and um, yeah i would strongly recommend if you 
want to put your kids in with a movie or if you are a kid and you want to watch a movie you make this a good movie to watch it's it's short and it's an enjoyable watch number six charlie brown christmas the charlie brown christmas is also a great movie I believe it's also a little short, but I mean, it's good. It follows Charlie Brown as he's trying to discover why everyone loves Christmas and he just can't get in the mood for Christmas. And so he's like trying to figure out and by the end of the story, Lionel gets up and just tells the Christmas story from the Bible and it's a good Christmas movie, enjoyable and it really gets you in the Christmas mood. It's not perfect, but it, it, it's enjoyable. Number five, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Well, I love this movie. It's awesome. It's very Christmassy and it gets you in the Christmas mood, as all movies on this list will. And I enjoy watching it. It's it's a good movie. Yeah, it has a couple of Christmas songs in it, including, of course, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And all the songs are good. The characters are fun. A good, enjoyable movie. I think it's also really short. So, yeah. It's if you want to sit down and watch a short Christmas movie, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's gets you in the Christmas mood and it's very enjoyable. So I strongly recommend you check it out if you haven't yet. Number four, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, the nineteen ninety four version. I have seen the other version. It's been a long time. This is the one I've seen more recently. Um, but I will say right now that I really like this version. It, this version is good. It's a very cool story. I like it. Basically in the story, the real life Santa gets hired by a mall to act as their their mall Santa. And they and he teaches them how to actually care about the people and not just care about business. It's a really cool story and very hilarious scenes in it. So overall this is a really good story. I like it and it's pretty good. It's a pretty enjoyable watch. The characters are awesome, and and the music is good. And you know, overall, the story is good. So I strongly recommend that you check this one out if you can. Number three, The Grinch Stole Christmas. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a Christmas classic. It's based off of Dr. Seuss's book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and they did a pretty good job at adapting it, right? It's in the classic hand-drawn animation. It's really fun. It's, it has one of the most familiar songs you could probably ever think of. The song Mr. Grinch comes from this movie. It's, we probably all know that song. The song is very popular. So overall, the story is good. The character of the Grinch is well played and it's a really good movie. And the music is great. The visuals are incredible. Overall, it's a really good story. So I strongly recommend that you, if you haven't checked this one out yet, please check it out. It's amazing. Number two, A Christmas Carol. There are a lot of versions of A Christmas Carol. Now, my favorite one, the one I grew up watching, was the 1951 version. The Muppets version is pretty good. The Scrooge McDuck version is pretty good. Overall, it's it's a pretty good story. I like it. For anyone who doesn't know the story of A Christmas Carol, it follows an old man who's grumpy and he doesn't like Christmas. And he gets visited by three ghosts, the spirits of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. And they show him where his life has been, where his life's going, and how he's affecting people around him. And it's a really cool story about getting over yourself and thinking about others when it comes to the Christmas season. I, and I love the story, but this version is awesome. This version is incredible. And I strongly recommend that you check out this version if you hadn't yet, because it's, it's good. Number one, It's a Wonderful Life. And of course, we all knew this was coming. My number one is It's a Wonderful Life. As I talked about in one of my previous videos on this topic, as I said in this, and I'll go back over it again, it follows a man struggling with the life he has lived and wondering why he even exists. What's the point of his life? Why is he here? All he has done is brought harm to people, right? And then this angel appeals to him and shows him how the world would be if he didn't exist how much he has affected the people around him. 
all this and it's a beautiful heartwarming story but also kind of sad about the importance of seeing who you are to others and how you affect others around you for the better and for the worst well the story is really really good the character especially of the angel is hilarious and it has some very quotable lines this is the movie i was talking about that a lot of people compare to white christmas a lot of my family members especially likes to compare it to white christmas because they like how white christmas is a lot more light-hearted it's a wonderful life is a lot more dark with its its story while being a very heartwarming story it does go to dark places of like the idea of suicide and stuff like that is like it goes into some dark places and well white christmas doesn't really go into much of that it's kind of just a christmas movie you watch it and once the movie ends i don't feel that you get anywhere this movie if it's your first time ever watching it's a wonderful life you're probably gonna watch it and then you'll be like what afterwards because it causes you to think about how have I affected people in my life? How have I been able to help people? I think this is a great movie to watch when you're feeling down but also when you're feeling in the Christmas spirit because this movie is awesome. So overall I feel like this is a movie you must check out at least once. So that's the list of my favorite Christmas movies. Tell me if you disagree on any of these or if you feel like they should have been in a different order on the list. This is the order I put them in. As I watch more movies, as like with the last couple videos I, I said, the order might change. But for right now, this is the order I have them in. All these movies on this list I enjoy besides maybe the last one I only kind of like. So yeah, feel free to check these movies out. Please, uh, especially check out the first one. It's a Wonderful Life because it's really good. So yeah, these are the movies I like. Feel free to leave your comments below on which ones you like. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you can be updated on any new discoveries we come up with. This has been the Movie Night Review. Merry Christmas. Peter Wary, signing off.